Welcome to the assembly of your 27 orange base cabinet. To begin assembly of your base cabinet unit, take out all pieces that come with your package. This will include the sides, top, bottom, and back for your cabinet. Look for the labels that appear on each piece. On the left side of the label, you will see the individual cabinet code as listed on your order sheet. On the right side of the label, you will see the item's position in the specific cabinet assembly. The typical labels are left end, right end, top, bottom, and back. Using the labels, sort out the pieces that correspond with each other, matching the individual cabinet code showing on the left side of the label. Look for the code that is also listed on your order sheet. This will help in easier assembly. Assembly begins by starting with the side pieces. As indicated by the label, this will be the right side. The top of the side piece will be identified in the exposed wood area. Find the top piece by looking at the label and align the side piece with the top by making sure the grooves meet. Also align the dowels from the side with the holes from the top piece and push the two pieces together. The pre-inserted dowels allow for quick and easy alignment of the parts. Insert the conformant screws in the allotted holes on the top piece and screw them firmly into the side piece. The next piece to attach will be the bottom piece as indicated by the label. Take the bottom piece and connect it to the right side piece making sure the groove and the dowels align. Insert the screws on the bottom side and firmly screw them into the piece. Now roll the piece over so that the right side of the cabinet is on the floor and the top and bottom are vertical. Find the back panel of the cabinet for insertion as indicated by the label. Align the back panel with the grooves on the top and bottom pieces and insert. Take the left end panel as indicated by the label and attach it, paying attention to align the holes on the bottom piece to the pre-inserted dowels provided by the top and bottom pieces. Correct placement has symmetry on both the left and right side. Insert the screw into the holes on each side and screw in firmly. Roll the unit to where the top is right side up. At this point, it is highly recommended to apply a bead of glue on the back of the cabinet where the back joins all cabinet sides. Next, prepare to mount in the nailer on the back. Take the nailer and start a few inches down from the top so that you can slide the piece into position. Nail the piece into place. Optionally, you can also glue the nailer onto the back surface. At this point, the cabinet is ready for installation. The next part of this instructional demonstration should take place after the cabinet is installed. Insert the door hinge mounting plates to the side of the cabinet. Cabinets come pre-drilled on both sides for hinge mounting plates. That way, you can determine the opening direction of the cabinet door at the time of installation. Find the plastic dowels on the inner side of the hinge mounting plate and insert into the holes on the side of the cabinet. You will be positioning these in the top and bottom pair of holes for placement. Make sure the engraved arrow on the mounting plate points to the front of the cabinets. Begin tightening the hinge mounting plates using the pre-inserted screws. Before we attach the doors, we will first place the shelves in the unit using the metal shelf pin holders. Find the level you would like the shelves and placeholders in accordingly, making sure the flat side is up, and place the shelf securely inside the unit. Now attach the hinge pieces to the door. The rounded area faces downward as you insert them snugly into the pre-board areas. Screw the hinges into the door piece using the included screws. You'll notice a tab at the end of the door hinge that you have just attached. This assists in attachment and release of the door unit. Bring the door and cabinet unit together at the hinge meeting point and find the groove for attachment and snap the hinge into place, both the top and bottom. A note before attaching the door to the unit using the hinge pieces you have installed. You will notice a screw on the hinge mounting plate. Should you notice that your doors are not flush with the bottom of the unit after the doors are attached, use the screw adjustment to move the door up or down slightly and to the amount that will even up the door with the rest. For additional door alignment, use the two screws on the hinge arm. These two alignment settings give you the flexibility of moving the door left and right and tilting it back and forth. Now find your hinge cover plates and place them into position on the hinge arms. You have now assembled your 27 orange base cabinet. For more information on our cabinets and the latest trends in modern cabinetry, visit our website, 27eStore.com.